Okay, here's everything I got today. I'm really, really busy today, so it's going to be fast. Uh, spent about $300 on everything you see here, including these uh, DVDs. Let me just go through... Uh, well, I'll do the games first. Here are the games I got. I got uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina, Churro Q. These, most of these games I paid anywhere from $1 to $5. Little Big Planet 2. I got two of these. Uh, original Little Big Planet, Mario Party 4. I got a Zelda Twilight Prince. I paid five a piece for this. The guy wanted five for all his games. He was, and he wouldn't negotiate at all. So I took the three best games. All of these games should sell 15, 20, maybe 25 dollar range. I got some Xbox 360 games. These were like three dollars a piece. Uh, Army of Two, Aliens vs Predator, Vegas Two. These are not valuable games, but Red Fashion Guerrilla, Armored Core. That one I paid five for. Um, they're sellable at the flea market. So you know, I'm, I'll get more than. I don't know, between 5 and 10 for most of these. Okay, um, let me, here, I'll continue with games. Got this, Nintendo, um, NES original, paid, paid 20, I think. I, I, you know what, I, I think I paid 15, and it came with two controllers, the cables that I need, and a Super Mario game, um, Super Mario 3, that's like a 10 to $12 game. That's a, a little bit more than double my money thing, so pretty good, a good deal. Uh, continuing on with game-related stuff, I got everything you need to put together a Super Nintendo power supply, um, five dollars, because it came with two controllers, dollar an item, except for the system. So I have the parts in, in, if I'm lucky enough to find a system. Um, got some CDs today, very exciting. Um, I also got DVDs, but I'll I'll just pan through those. That's for a friend of mine. Um, continuing on, this is a watercolor by someone named Terry Rowland. It's nice. It's nicely framed. Um, I only paid five dollars, so who cares if I sell it? If it's not a valuable artist, which I'm sure it isn't, I'll sell it like twenty to thirty dollar range. Um, okay, let me do the jewelry quick. Assortment of jewelry. Nothing too special. Got a lot of nice looking watches, though. These are all wind-ups, which are cool. Uh, nice bands. Uh, watches like these, I believe we will sell in the fifteen to twenty dollar range. A uh, little mix of jewelry. These are uh, called wedding cake glass beads, but I don't believe... I think this is a restring. Uh, beads could be old. Don't know for sure. Uh, a, necklace like, a necklace like this used to sell in the uh, $75 range. I wouldn't get that much. Or I'd probably get like 20 to 30 And then just some miscellaneous pins, you know. Nice looking stuff. Um, things I would sell in the 5 to $10 range. Here's a silver pin. I'd probably get like 10 to 15 for that. And like I said, these in the $20 range. That covers my jewelry. Um, all right. Uh, we got a purse. This is only a dollar. It's in great shape. At least $10. Uh, some BS stuff. Uh, let me do... Stiffle lamp. Paid uh, $4. This is heavy. And, you know, if I had a pair, I probably could get near $100. i will probably get 30 or 20 20 to 30 if I just want to flip it. Um, these might be... These might do better on eBay, but they're so heavy that I'd have to check it. Got, for $5, got a, uh, the parts to a butter churn. Uh, you know, complete these sell for a lot. 75 100 150 125 I think, uh, I don't know, depending on, I have to check it. I'll check it online. I figure it's at least good for 20 to $35. Um, already did CDs. Um, this is pretty cool. This is all plastic, and it's just like a, uh, like a, Say 60s modern funky lamp, metal. It's got all different color plastic uh, rectangles. The light shines through it. Probably looks really cool cleaned up. I only paid 20 for it. I don't know. Uh, depending on the market I'm at, 50, cheapest 40 to maybe maybe 75 or 100. I, I have to see. You know, it depends on what market I go to. Um, this is nice. This looks like a. Just an old... I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to have a lid or whatever. I only paid two bucks for it. Who cares? I imagine I can get... If it had a lid, maybe I could get 20 or 30 or whatever if I could figure out who it is from. Um, an Italian vase. says Italy, hand-painted. Not a special one. Uh, I don't know who to attribute it to. I think it's in pretty good condition. I'll get between 10 and 20 for that at a flea market. At a flea market, I go to... Rum real pottery. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Grum... Grumps. Anybody who, who sees this knows what it is. On the inside, they always have like a troll or something, a raven. These probably sell for like 10 to 20 on eBay. Uh, I only paid 
three dollars for it. So you know, I, I probably sell it ten dollars or, or even five at a floor. I don't even care. These are glass hands. I can get five to ten for that. Um, this is a stone, probably made in Mexican head. Uh, let me see. There it is. Um, these probably sell for I don't know, fifty to seventy-five. I can. I pay three dollars for it. I'll get between ten and twenty at the flea market. So I go to it. Um, this is Mexican black pottery. I've seen these around. I'm going to check the name. Sometimes the names are worth money. Uh, but I only paid $2 either way, so it's like a no-lose situation. Just a glass, bare paperweight. Paid $0.50. Cents. If, even if I get a few dollars, that's fine. Um, bought a bunch of these Smurfs. The Smurfs sell for a buck or two at flea markets at most. And I got a Smurf house uh, at a different location. Paid 3 I paid 7 for all these here. So if I get a dollar or two a piece, I'm, I'm winning. I'm making money. Uh... All right, and then I got some perfumes. Uh, Estee, you do Estee Lauder. This one might be eBayable. I'm pretty sure it is. This is I don't know. This came with it. Hawaiian white ginger cologne. It's an Avon. Probably not worth much. Um, for twenty dollars, I got these three. Estee Lauder, Pleasure Exotic. Uh, this one is uh, Arden Beauty. Not familiar with it. And this one I might have had. Beautiful sheer Estee Lauder. Uh, if one of them's worth 25 then I've got my money back and I'm ahead of the game uh, continuing on bought some sleeves to bag all those comic books I got uh, I think I've almost covered everything I think I'm doing pretty good on time this is an enamel on copper painting get my get it out of my shadow uh, it is a scene with a boy fishing I'm not familiar with the name M or something uh, as you could, that's what the back looks like you know, if I can attribute it to an artist, it could be worth, or I can figure out who the artist is, it could be worth, uh, like, 100 to 200 But at a flea market, this should easily, I paid 10 it should easily sell in the 30 to $50 range. Uh, got a nice wood box. Pretty cool. I think it will fit. Um, only paid a dollar, uh, as you can see. I think it'll fit Super Nintendo games or N64 games. So I think I bought it for display. And uh, let's see. Okay, that's pretty much everything I got, and except for the DVDs, I'm just going to show these so my friend can see them. Okay, and this is the last bucket. I normally pay a dollar or less for these, and they only sell. They only sell for two dollars. You know, for me. So, and there you go. If my friend sees any wants, he will let me know, and I will pull them out for him. And uh, that is everything that I got today.